Это что за хрень? Мороженое. So in eighth grade, I decided to audition for acting. A lot of kids were coming from very rigorous acting programs, and I was one of the few that didn't really have that background. I think it was sophomore year of high school. We had to look at the process of film from behind the camera, because all we had been exposed to was what to do in front of the camera. I don't think it really registered with me how much power you have behind the camera. I think I was on the MoMA website and it mentioned a screening of a student's film at the Ghetto Film School. And I was like, what on earth is the Ghetto Film School? While you're at GFS, you learn every aspect of filmmaking. So when we did those first short films, we had to write it ourselves, shoot it ourselves, direct it ourselves, and then present it. We went to Kiev in August, and navigating through that just gave me like a crash course of problem solving. It was the night before the last day of shooting. We're not gonna get everything. There's too much to shoot. I went to the bathroom, shed a few tears, and then came back out. It's like, okay, let's focus. Let's figure out what scenes we need to cut. What can we keep? And we did it. I just wanna make films that resonate with myself, that can hopefully also connect something to another person who's maybe miles away, like in another country. Can I take the yeah, off? Yeah, you can take it off. Oh, gosh. How, how was it? My name is Milica Zid. I'm from Serbia. I live in New York and I am a filmmaker. Since I was born, I was in a theater, you know? And my parents even met in a theater during uh, the performances my father directed. And that kind of shaped who I am today. As soon as I graduated, I packed my bags and uh, I was in New York. I very soon met Marina Abramovic. And she said, kid, are you an editor? I told her yes. And she said, oh, great, I need an editor. I did learn a lot about fearlessness. And, you know, she always says she wouldn't do something if she's not afraid of it. Every step in that life is necessary to bring you to another step. Something shifted in me. Uh, this passion for directing couldn't be tamed anymore. Can we play Giant at Sarah's? And how, how did you come up with the idea for Giant? I met Lizzie Donahue, the scriptwriter. I told her my life story. And she's like, why don't you make a short film out of it? The next day, I realized this should be a virtual reality project because we wanted to uh, to make this situation close to people who never experienced war. Literally next week we just applied for office space at New Inc, the new museum's incubator, where we developed the whole project. They kind of want to create entrepreneurs out of us, so we can all live through our work. This condenses maybe 10 years of my life in the 90s. It's a very symbolic representation of what me and my family went through. Is this three, like all around? Yeah, yeah you can turn oh three seconds. Explore the space. I'm, I'm hoping to inspire people. I'm hoping that they are touched, uh, you know, emotionally through the work I'm doing. We dared to be brave and just carry on this uh, vision and don't let anything stop us. Interesting women with interesting lives, brave and fearless women who dare to step out of the what, what society thinks is allowed. I mean, women are so great, uh, but we're often underrepresented. And there's just so many different lives and different stories that are out there. I'm quick and curious and playful and daring. I am quick and curious and playful and optimistic.